arguably the most entertaining congressman, Louis Gohmert, giving a speech on the floor. This ought to be a peach. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I certainly appreciate and agree with the, the gentleman's uh, concerns about the failure of the administration to secure the border. We are quite aware that the border did not get as secure as we would have hoped under the prior administration, uh, that, but there's no excuse for not getting it done now, and especially when the claim is made that we'll secure the border when you basically give amnesty to people that were already here. That's like uh, putting the cart in front of the horse as the cart's going off the cliff. It's a problem. Uh, there are other problems, uh, as Mr. Speaker, you have surely noted with regard to this administration. An article that uh, came out today, May 17th, from the Daily Caller points out that the home, Homeland Security guidelines advise deference to pro-Sharia Muslim supremacists. And of course, Mr. Speaker, we're familiar with the fact that uh, Homeland Security has had reports warning uh, their employees about the dangers of people, people that may be involved in such heinous activity as being classified as evangelical Christians or as being concerned about the Constitution and that people should be following the Constitution and uh, concerned about people who may have Tea Party in their name. Um, you know, thank goodness that the IRS was not around to help the founders when they founded the country or otherwise they probably shot the uh, the Boston Tea Party participants, they would have uh, um, killed off over half of the signers of the Declaration of Independence, and this country would have never gotten started um, if this Homeland Security had been around to be helpful, so-called, to our family. I tweeted at uh, Representative Louis Gohmert earlier, and I've never said anything more true in my life. It, he's simply too stupid to be a congressman. No, I'm not kidding when I say I've never heard Representative Louis Gohmert say anything even vaguely resembling a true statement. God, uh, the laundry list of absurd things he said. One time he said Jews sh shouldn't serve in government. How can you get away with that in today's day and age? That's nuts. You should be disqualified just based off of that. Of course, he said, uh, oh, uh, Obama's resurrecting an empire. So, oh, yeah, the American empire, 900 military bases. He's on to something, right? No, no, the Ottoman Empire. The Ottoman Empire? No, L Louis Gomer's mind, it's so, there's nothing in there. So he thinks, uh, Obama looked like he got the dark skin and the Ottomans. Is there an Ottoman country? Right, there's a Republic of Ottoman, right? So the Ottomans, uh, yeah, he's an Ottoman because he got the dark skin and whatnot. Oh, Louie, you're so stupid, man. All right, so from the top. I mean, right off the bat, th the first sentence or the first point he makes, al already incorrect. He goes, oh, uh, yeah, the failure to secure the border, and uh, it's been a problem, and uh, duh, uh -huh. Okay, Louie, uh, <laughs> immigration is net zero. Look, it's been net zero since 2008. This isn't like breaking news or anything. I've talked about this multiple times. Look it up on Google for yourself. You'll find a million articles, all the different websites reported on it. Immigration is net zero. <laughs> and then he goes to, well, you know, they keep saying that we're, well, sure, we'll secure the border after, after you do amnesty. Who? Who said that, Louis? No, 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 no. Name one person who mentioned amnesty in the immigration debate. Just one, just one. You could pick as far left-wing a congressman as there exists in the world, right? In the United States of America. Uh, take Bernie Sanders, who's a self-described socialist. He didn't, he didn't bring up amnesty. Nobody brought up amnesty. You brought up amnesty to create a straw man about the left. But he's crazy enough, he might actually believe it. 
that Democrats are talking about amnesty. Hey, Louie, wakey, wakey, look, just the other day we talked about how uh, in the House they're working on uh, an immigration bill that pushed up the Senate's 13-year wait to a 15-year wait. Who's talking about amnesty? You know who talks about amnesty? Ronald Reagan, your butt buddy that you masturbate over at night. Uh, he... I was going to say I'm holding back. I was going to say something bad there, but I already did. <laughs> Hell, look, Louis Gomer touches himself to Ronald Reagan. There, I said it. All right. And then uh, the same theme Republicans have been working on for uh, since the, uh, the IRS scandal now. Uh, oh, look, we're, we're victims. I told you we were victims, even though we ran the country for eight years when Bush was in charge. <laughs> and we still uh, got 49% of the popular vote. But we're victims. We're such victims. They're pretending like Obama... Uh, and the Department of Homeland Security are protecting people who believe in Sharia law and protecting uh, Islamic extremists and jihadists while they attack uh, evangelical Christians. No, 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 no. It, it, you need medication if you think that, man. You really do. You really do. A and, of course, at the end, complete historical inaccuracy. Uh, he... The IRS would shoot people in the Boston Tea Party if they were around back then. Uh, first of all, he doesn't know history because uh, the Boston Tea Party was not because, oh, taxes are too high and we need to protest it, like a lot of Republicans like to think. Read the history of it. The reason why people were doing the Boston Tea Party was because the East India Company got a an unfair tax cut, a corporate tax cut. So they came in to the colonies and undercut uh, the prices of all of the the local small businesses, right? So they said, look, they should be paying the same as we're paying in taxes because they, should, uh, they shouldn't be able to undercut our prices because they get this tax break. So tax them the same as they tax us. So they were arguing for tax cuts at the, uh, I mean, tax hikes at the Boston Tea Party, not for tax cuts like Louis Gohmert thinks. And for the IRS would shoot the Boston Tea Party. Oh, the IRS shoots now? They just make shit up, man. Oh, I do. oh, it hurts so much to cover this because it's just so stupid.